Alright guys, so the last main concept I want to talk about regarding arguments is how to unpack arguments. And this is actually handy in a lot of instances, as you're going to see whenever we make bigger programs later on. So let's go ahead and make a simple function, and I'll name it health calculator. So what this function does is it takes three parameters. It takes your age, we'll say the amount of apples you ate in a week, and also the amount of cigarettes you smoke in a week. And with this, it calculates um, your expected age that you're gonna live to. So the formula for that, see if I can come up with something somewhat realistic, is 100 minus your age, and then it adds, let me add something, it'll be easier. So we'll put apples eight, and we'll multiply it by like 3.5. If the value is really weird, I can change it later on. But And of course, six smoked multiplied by two. All right, so of course, the younger the better, the more apples you ate increases it, and the amount of cigarettes you smoked decreases it. So then we get a final answer. And we'll actually say, this isn't your expected age, we'll just say that this is just some like health rating. On a scale of uh, 1 to uh, like 200, it's probably going to be around. So, what we can do, of course, pass in three parameters here, which are three integers. And we can pass them in, in a couple different ways. So say that we had a list. And we'll say I, I don't smoke at all, so zero. So I'm 27 years old. I eat 20 apples a week. I really don't, but. And I actually never smoked a cigarette in my life because if you do, you are an idiot. So this is my information. And we also have information from a ton of other people because, you know, we just came up with this new formula. Everyone wants to try it out. So we got a whole database of information. So what we can do is we can run our program and pass in these parameters the first way that we know how the old way bucky data zero which is my age bucky data one which is apples and bucky data two which is cigarette smoke and whenever you run this all right so my health rating whatever you know this weird formula is called is 143 i'm guessing that's pretty good However, if we have to do this for everyone, it's gonna take a lot of lines of code. So I wanna show you guys a real quicker, quicker way. So whenever we call this function, what we can do is we can just actually type the name of the list right in here and add a star before it. Now what this is gonna do is it's called unpacking an argument list. So it pretty much takes this list and it passes each item in one at a time. So instead of having to write all this crap, we just say, okay, take this list, and the asterisk means unpack it. So now whenever you run it, check it out. It prints out the same exact thing. It treats it the same exact way. It just saves us a lot of coding. So that, my friend, is how you unpack arguments, and the good news is, Right now, we're done with functions, we're done with arguments, we're ready to move on to something else because I want to run through the basics real quick because I want to start building bigger, awesome programs that are actually useful. So for now, of course, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, ask me on my forum and I'll see you next time.